Hello students, let us see this question here. A solid sphere of mass m and radius r slips on a rough horizontal plane. At some instant, it has translated, it has translation velocity v0, rotational velocity about center is given omega. The translation velocity after the sphere, sphere starts pure rolling is, okay. So if you'll see here, at this position, if you'll talk about, suppose this point is p here, so this p Right, this p is having, right, the p will get the velocity due to translation that is v0 and due to rotation it will get in backward direction because it, is, because it is rotating in clockwise direction. So due to omega it will get the velocity in backward direction so that will be omega r. So omega r it is the velocity due to rotation and v0 is the velocity due to translation. So if you'll see here, the value of omega r, omega is equal to v0 upon 2r into r. So this you are getting v0 upon r, v0 upon 2. So the net velocity will get in forward direction, that is v0 upon 2. Right. So this point is moving with v0 upon 2 in forward direction, so this point is slipping. So at this, so at this instant, uh, this is not pure rolling, it is slipping case. So now the since point P is having the velocity in rightward direction with velocity V0 upon 2, so the friction will act here in backward direction. Alright, and after some time, the sphere will start pure rolling. So let us assume after some time, this is the situation here. Okay. Okay, so suppose at this instant, the sphere is having the pure rolling case. So at this point, suppose this is your V, and here suppose this becomes omega naught. Alright, and this is the case of pure rolling. So in order to solve this question, if I take some point P on the ground, or you can say, let us take some point O on the ground, this point is O, right, about this point, the total moment of all the forces will be zero or you can say that the net torque will be zero because the friction uh, it will intersect the point O so for the friction the torque will be zero mg is acting here and here we lack normal so mg and normal uh, right both are act behaving like action reaction pair and along the same line right the magnitude of mg and n is same and both are along the same line so if we'll take this together, then the total torque of mg and normal about point O will be zero. So together mg and normal having zero torque, friction is also having zero torque, so the net torque about O is zero, so the angular momentum will remain conserved between these two positions. So this position you can say one, and this position you can say two, the angular momentum remain conserved, so, so let us conserve the angular momentum. So in the state one, right, Angular momentum, let us take L1, must be equal to L2. So about O, the angular momentum will be I into omega, that is 2 by 5, mass is M, so MR square into omega. So omega is V0 upon 2R. Plus, right, plus M V0 into R. Right, that is L1. Is that is equal to L2. Now L2 if you will calculate once again I into omega naught. So 2 upon 5 MR square into omega naught. Alright. Plus M V into R. Now we will say since this is pure rolling. So I can say uh, you have to find the uh, translation of velocity. So you have to find the V here. So I can say here, here the V will be equal to omega naught into Omega, right. Since it is a pure rolling, so V is equal to omega R. So I can replace, so from here I can say omega will be equal to, omega naught will be equal to V upon R. Now I can replace this value here. So this will get something, 2 will get cancelled out, R will get cancelled out. So you will get here M V naught R upon 5 plus M V naught R. And this will get right uh, 2 by 5 m r square right 
omega naught can be written like v upon r so that will become v upon r plus m v r now i will remove all these things here no okay so now you need to solve this so if you'll see here you will get 6 m v naught r upon 5 is equal to if you solve this so this r and this r so you will get here m v r 2 upon 5 so you will get here 7 m v r upon 5 so this 5 will get cancelled out and from here you can see i need to find the value of v here so m will also get cancelled out okay and r will also get cancelled out so from here i can say you will get 6 v naught upon 7 that will be v so this we are getting the v okay and uh, since so the value of v i got 6 v naught upon 7 so answer will be 6 v naught upon 7 in forward direction option a is correct and obviously uh, this will be in forward direction see why why because see here the velocity the net velocity was right it is the friction is acting in this direction okay so the omega will increase okay and the this will decrease and after some time both omega r and this v will become same so it will remain in forward direction okay so option a is correct okay students i hope you understood this question